and welcome to the Independent Lodging Congress's video interview series. My name is Eric Warner and I'm with Eagle Point Hotel Partners. Today we're at the 2014 Independent Lodging Congress in Philadelphia and we're joined by Elizabeth Brayman of Realty Mogul. Ms. Brayman serves as the Chief Production Office Officer at Realty Mogul, responsible for procuring equity and debt investment opportunities. She's a JD, MBA, CCIM, and an award-winning finance executive with 15 years of experience in commercial real estate lending, business development, and sales. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, Eric. So we have a handful of questions that we're going to pose, and let's open the the floor right now. Uh, let's talk about how Realty Mogul works. What does your company offer investors that they can't find through other more traditional funds or investment vehicles? Well, first and foremost, crowdfunding offers access. So previously unattainable investment opportunities are now made accessible to average accredited investors who previously were only able to invest in those opportunities through country club funds or through uh, networks of friends and, and family. Uh, so our platform allows those accredited investors, and we have over 12,000 in our network, to invest in real estate uh, and secondarily and, and very importantly, it offers um, diversification. So an investor who previously had to put $500,000 into uh, one asset, not very diversified, not very liquid, uh, has the opportunity to spread that capital across five, six different opportunities with geographic uh, diversification as well as asset class diversification. Mm. So it really allows them to spread risk uh, across the country and through uh, self-directed investments. So instead of putting all your money into a REIT where the REIT manager gets to make decisions for you through the crowdfunding platform, uh, we offer investors the opportunity to invest in pre-vetted, underwritten investment opportunities of their choosing. So out of curiosity, what was happening in the investment world that led to this becoming what it is now? Why didn't this happen five years ago or ten years sure. ago? Sure. Well, that, that was in large part due to the JOBS Act, which uh, changed and allowed for general solicitations, um, and that's a 506C. Mm -hmm. We did a 506C for the Hard Rock uh, Hotel in Palm, in Palm Springs, Springs right. and got a tremendous amount of marketing. Um, we also offered investors perks mm -hmm. in the hotel, which was a, a pretty cool investment opportunity. They got a, an owner's card. Uh, they got uh, discounts on food and beverage and upgrades for the room. So uh, just a really neat uh, marketing uh, kind of cross-platform opportunity there using crowdfunding and general solicitations. And that just means that in the old paradigm, when we did uh, syndications, it was always through your Reg D mm -hmm. private offerings where you could only tell your uh, institutional or excuse me your accredited investors that you had a pre-existing relationship with 506 C opened up the whole world the Jobs Act opened the whole world to us now allowing us to market as long as we uh, prove that they're actual accredited investors investing in the opportunity and so that's interesting